Anyeonghaseyo, welcome to another video. If you guys are here just to get some ideas on what you should buy for your own cruiser board, I wanted to start off by giving a few stats and recommendations. At the top of the description, there are three recommendations I have. One, if you're trying to get something affordable and maybe a cruiser board that you can actually do tricks on, I would recommend getting a Revive cruiser board. Full disclosure, I am sponsored by the company, but it is a board that I can actually use to do tricks, but the wheels are slightly bigger than average. They're 54 millimeters, and I think I think that's a good size for cruising and also doing tricks. The second board has wheels that are 60 millimeters, six millimeters bigger. And this one I would recommend if you live in a city with rough ground, rough streets. If you're using it more for transportation, bigger wheels will make tricks harder, but if you have no plan on doing tricks, 60 millimeter wheels is what I recommend. And then right below that, I'm gonna include a page with a lot of options of boards, and I would actually choose the board that you think looks the coolest, but keep in mind that 54 millimeters versus 60 millimeters, 60, Bad ground, 54, you can do tricks with. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Skateboarding. <laughs> Many places. Thanks for making my smoothie this <laughs> No, I got you, bro. <laughs> so there are many places and ways that you can purchase skateboards. The easiest is online. Luckily, there's a skate shop down in South Carolina that I got sponsored by when I was <laughs> mad young, but their website's awesome. Uh, they have everything. So we're gonna go there and see if we can get the perfect skateboard. <laughs> Well, specifically a cruiser, right? Yeah, a cruiser board because we live in New York City and your wheels just naturally get bigger once you move here. Because Blue Tile did give me a board. Do you remember that? We did like a whole unboxing. We did. That was actually really fun. Yeah. But a cruiser board is a little different. LSC.com. Good start. <laughs> Whoa. Skate. Decks. Ooh, so yeah. I get to choose a deck first. Mm hmm. Tyson's board. That's crazy. Tyson Peterson's from South Carolina, so it's cool that he has a pro board. Now, what? selling at Pluto. I'm My sorry. Boys board. I'm sorry. Their name is selling do it online. Do they not have revive decks? They do, I think, unless they sold out. I mean, that's a good problem. Should we do shred quarters then? Dave, we love you, but since you're sold out of revive boards, we're gonna go to the second best website to buy stuff. Or the first, I don't know, they're both awesome. The shred quarters. Oh, look at that. Cruiser completes. Oh, but I want a John Hill on the bottom. All right, so this is, that's cute. So on the Shred Quarters, they actually have cruiser boards already set up, which means boards that you can cruise around cities with. Less for tricks, more for... Cruising. Thank you. So the biggest difference is that the wheels are 54 millimeters. I usually skate 52, but these are actually a different... Still have more. Yeah, you could. You could get bigger. So with these deck shapes, a lot of people do try to get a cruiser type, but it actually doesn't matter. You don't have a cruiser shape. I don't have a cruiser shape. You want a cruiser shape? Oh, they have pre-made cruiser decks at Blue Tile, too. Is there not any, like, cute ones? Hmm. Oh, I like that. Where? Oh, That's you. cute. We're finding oh, something. Oh, look how cute that is. So you're looking at land yachts right now, which... Opinion. I actually don't know anything about them. I just know that a lot of people carry it. I don't think that's a bad sign. That's really cute. You like that one? Do you think I'll actually be able to survive the New York streets on this, though? Mm-hmm. I think so. 63 millimeters. See, that's way bigger than the last one. That's literally 10 millimeters bigger than the ones we were looking at before. I actually had two lanyard boards for a cruiser video that I made before, and I liked both of them. Huh. And guess what happened to them? They broke. I lost both of them. I like to lose things because I believe that life should be lived moving fast, and you yeah. should get rid of things. That's the only reason I lose them, not because I'm irresponsible and stupid all at the same time. Right, baby? Honestly, this is a, this is a good pick. Good buy. Good pick, girl. <laughs> Look at that cat. <laughs> it was a dog. <laughs> Dude, I farted, you know? Sorry, I've been scarfing down my breakfast during this. <laughs> She's in a hurry. I gotta get moved. Yeah. I gotta get moving. But yes, I'm so excited. I just hope that I don't die. I hope you don't either. And I doubt that you will because you're less of a dyer and more of a survivor. I think the most ethical option is to buy a skateboard from your local skate shop. So if you do have one, I would try to find that and buy a board there because those people, the money will go directly back into the scene and that's kind of how it works. 
but I also understand that a lot of cities don't have those skate shops, like a lot of cities now. So those are cool, huh? I like these wheels. These are my favorite. Oh, these Just are. Just because they look cool. I don't mean to hurt anyone's feelings, but it just. What if we decided? Um, that we should go to ride electric skateboards. Yeah, honestly, well, that's the thing. It's like they're like $130, which is super good for a skateboard period because usually if you set it up yourself, it's like 200 but we already have like three electric skateboards each. That's just the thing with New York. Electric skateboards are so much more convenient and cruiser boards, you can't really do tricks on, so it kind of gets rid of everything. Like, you don't really... So it's like, I might as well ride something I'm really comfortable on. Right. And, and it's like, have you seen this ground? Yeah, you can go faster, it's smoother, it's what I ride. I actually have a cruiser board that I never ride either in New York City. I only skate my skateboard and the electric it's gonna skateboard. It's going to be so, so funny for the people who click on this video. Like, all right, cruiser board in New York City, and it's like, electric skateboard video? Well, actually, I did just get a brand new electric skateboard, so I oh, actually think that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, well, appreciate you. So long story short, Sarah already has multiple electric skateboards, and to get around a city, they're much better. It's way easier, and in New York, there's a lot of potholes and things that can definitely stop you, and it's harder to go as fast as long. And she uses the Stealth and the Plus, but what I just got in the mail is the Boosted Board Mini, which actually has a kicktail so that I can pivot around. So coming from a skateboarding background, it's actually the board that feels more natural to me. So Boosted Board actually sent me this because they see in my videos that I use them all the time. I've been using the Mini like crazy, so someone at the company contacted me and they were like, do you want one? And I was like, what? Hi John, hope you enjoy this Mini X. You can stop borrowing Sarah's now. The team at Boosted, that, so this will be my main means of transportation. Oh, whoa, it's different colors too. We got the accessory box as well. It's pretty simple to set up. You basically just charge it, connect the remotes, which just takes a few button hits, and you have an electric skateboard that you can go all around the city with. So the Boosted Mini X is $999, and the Mini S is $749. So for an extra $150, you do go twice as far. And the top speed is two more miles an hour, so you go 20 miles an hour top speed, it can go up a hill that's 20% grade. It weighs a little more because the battery's a little bigger. So you're going from 15 pounds to 16.8 pounds for this size. But this is honestly much easier. And with all the stuff that I carry in my hands when I go around the city and commute, I need something electric because a cruiser board, you just, you need your arms, you need your limbs. It's easier to fall. You need to be aware with this one. You don't really need to think about those things as much. But this is technically a vehicle. You're spending $1,000 as opposed to a complete skateboard that you could technically get for about $130 via Revive. It is a completely different experience. If you are using it for a commute, you live in a city like San Francisco, Los Angeles, or New York City, I do recommend having a board like this because you don't actually have to learn too much about how to ride. You can just stand on it and figure it out in probably 20 minutes or so. technically take the interstate on this going through a city is perfect and I can almost go as fast as traffic normally goes in a city this compact <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and yeah tune in every week Monday Wednesday and Friday for a new video I appreciate your faces joining in today and watching and yeah tune in for more skateboarding skateboarding knowledge and skateboarding guys Love you so much progress daily and keep killing it <laughs>